We do not have a, a date for any Rafah operation, at least one that's been communicated to us by the Israelis. On the contrary, what we have is an ongoing conversation with Israel about um, any Rafah operation. Um, the President's been very clear about our concerns, our deep concerns, uh, about Israel's ability to move civilians out of, har out of harm's way, uh, to uh, care for them once they're out of harm's way, and to have uh, any kind of major military operation that doesn't do um, real harm to uh, civilians, to children, to women, to men. And back in studio with us is Dr. Jacques Neria. Let's discuss the issue of Rafah. We're hearing Blinken say that Israel has not informed the United States of a date for uh, the incursion in Rafah. But Netanyahu believes that Rafah is absolutely necessary in order to um, destroy and defeat Hamas. So he, he says he has a date for it. It's not disclosed, but he has it. So will Netanyahu fight with the Americans, do you think, over this if Bush comes to shove? You know, uh, it reminds me of promotions in the army when you don't want to to decide about the, the future of, a, of an officer, you would say he would be promoted in the summer. But nobody says what summer. This summer, the next summer, the, in two summers. So this is what the, the, this is the, the, the I mean, the, the comparison is exactly so that we will attack uh, Rafah. We will be there. When? This is the big question. I mean, if we don't evacuate a million point three uh, Palestinians living there, um, displaced there to other places, other safe haven. I mean, there's, a, there's information about 40,000 tents that were bought by Israel. So the, where are the, those tents and when are, uh, are they going to be erected and how long would it take? Now, Look at the, the, the situation. Israel is, has agreed, has agreed officially or not officially, for the, for the return of 2,000 Palestinians to the northern part of Gaza. At this rate, it means that you will, have to, you will need 570 days for all those Palestinians to go back to their homes. And so there's, there's no way that you can uh, begin an operation in, uh, in Rafah before that evacuation. This is one. And if you accept the American proposal of 6,000 per, uh, uh, per, per day, I mean, or 150,000, we still are in the, in the limits of a more than 12 months of, uh, uh, of uh, uh, a situation that is ambiguous bearable for, for Israel. So, I mean, for the army, uh, uh, as you said, the, 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 to set a date right now would be just uh, the, uh, impossible. So this is where we are. I mean, except for the bravados and the words and the, the intention, this is meant for local consumption, maybe. And this is meant also for the Americans to, to express our dis uh, the, uh, the displeasure about uh, the, their positions. But I mean, the Americans themselves have been discussing with, that for more, for, uh, with us for more than two, uh, two hours on, the, on possible scenarios, and they have presented Israel some, uh, some options. It seems that Israel has refused the, these options, and what was presented to the American was not accepted by the Americans. So th this is where we stand right now, at a standstill, stagnation, trampling on the spot. This is the, the, this is the, the, the truth about, the, uh, about this campaign. And all the accomplishment of this campaign are soon go going to, to vanish if the, this, uh, these positions are kept as they are today.